It was brought to our attention that the neighboring county was investigating a food stamp fraud through their sheriff's department. So we called them up and they were taking us through this program of EBT uh, processing machine fraud. And he says, what we did is we started investigating the drug dealers and finding out their habits. And it led us to these drug dealers who didn't have any products to sell, but were processing EBT cards through an EBT processing machine. I played a homeless person for a little while downtown because that was uh, the majority of the people they were dealing with, some of these businesses, to buy their food stamps and traffic. They got comfortable with me, I was able to start the discussion of, hey, I want to sell my food stamps. And then they took me to the right people. We found out that there were some stores that there was no store. It was a vehicle with a wireless terminal in it, and they had nothing to sell. It was around $3.7 million in fraud with the stores that we had worked. After the, uh, we investigated those stores with nothing to sell, we did the nation's first EBT reverse operation. Um, we got the a wireless terminal, we set it up a fake business, we got our bank accounts for the money to go into. I was instantly able to start buying EBT. We ended up uh, with 198 suspects in six months. It was every, uh, pe people from every walk of life, they're getting 50 cent on the dollar. That was the going rate, so you know they bring me a card for $200, they get $100 back. One of the locations where um, we had a lot of traffic as far as people coming to me was um, in the back parking lot of a methadone clinic in Jacksonville. And mothers would bring their babies with them to cash out their EBT. Um, you know, it was very disturbing to me as the undercover to see that these kids are not gonna get this money because I knew where the mother was going with the cash that I gave her. So we helped shine a spotlight on that on a federal level so that we could make sure that the food stamps that people need for nutrition are used for nutrition, not to fund an illegal activity that percolates through society as a cancer and leads up to kids getting killed on the streets. The people that we were dealing with were able-bodied uh, adults. Um, we weren't dealing with um, people that had you know, uh, major impairments and that kind of thing. I mean, these were people that could have worked that were coming to me to traffic their uh, EBT benefits. I believe there should be work requirements for able-bodied adults that are um, taking a part of the program. Um, I believe it would give them an incentive and an option to eventually get off the program because I don't believe the program was created as a handout. I believe it was created as a hand up to get these people back into the workforce and help them.